Another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Oh. Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of well, politics, then. Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham <sighs> for all of us. Gotham is really so fucked up. Why are there so many people actually bonkers in that city? And why do they all want to stay there? I don't like this, Harv. But I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't hang you. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. What does he mean? I'm always super yeah, nice. I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk up, sky high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. <laughs> Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Yeah, that's a good one. Well, you couldn't afford it. <laughs> yeah, right. Carmine Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. Mm, no. Everyone's looking if I'm giving... You're a respectable man, I hear. Bruce Wayne. You have you know who you are. to... Kind of, right? Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. It's just a handshake. But of course, I could have made. <sighs> oh, whatever. You should know, Mr. Falcone. Fuck my, my guess. I don't care what they think. With Mayor Hill at... Hey, what's whoa? The private audience. Huh. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce, you'll be That's fine. That's a little bit. There, I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Have a drink. Have a talk. Harvey stays. Let's just us. try. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. <clears throat> Whatever you... Ah, ah, what did I say? <laughs> Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? Totally. I don't even know. This city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much. Chaps my face with words. Well, I would say you can uphold the law and still do what's right. To a point. No one gets remembered for staying in the middle. Uh, Mr. Falcone, I no more warning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like I a kid. A about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Well then, chalk this for me. Talk. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat, or I can pull it out from under him. <laughs> Falcon noticed that, yes. Yeah. Okay, imagine this is me, and these are all my friends in Gotham the businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move, and I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. Hmm. For Gotham, for our city. 
Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked, trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. Now that's a predicament. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Hey. So much politics and shit Master and Bruce, business in Batman yes, going on. I leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Why is everyone going? Heed your butler's advice, kid. Party oh, just started. No longer interested in buying the house. Thanks, mate. The owner's a prick. prick. He's gonna get what's coming to him. <sighs> this is so... It's Batman. Batman. Everything is going to be fine. But man, what a start! Batman the Telltale series. Oh, this is gonna be great. I hope it will be. Definitely gives you a little more well insights on Bruce Wayne's Emotional life and life besides Batman. It's me. That's what these games always have been great about. Yeah. Episode one. Realm of Shadows. Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in. With mm. rapid entry incidents of 50% over last year. Remember to keep those front doors locked tonight. He still keeps that. Five criminals are in custody this evening after a break-in at City Hall. The notorious Batman was on the scene, but failed to secure the stolen items. Not wait, what? Let's see what she was really after. Oh, we still have that one. Okay, um... Gotham feed access, okie dokie, main screen. Let's start by watching this. Or maybe not. Let's not watch this. Let's watch the tickets. Okay. No, no comment. He's not in commenting mood. Obviously. I didn't precious mayor to decry vigilantes. Attempt to lead task force. We're an enterprise fund Arkham Asylum replacement. Okay, that's just the headlines. Oh god. Okay, yeah, founders of Wayne. Oh, damn it, sorry. I'm not gonna read all that shit. Pe people see, people are. think people know that. At least most of it. We're just gonna go for the story. Nearly fell off a building for this. Yeah, we'll check what's on it, man. Analyze the date. Okay, which? Uh, which opening do I put it in here? There we go. Now what? God damn it! So important. Moving 
What is it? Damn, the game takes its time. <laughs> ah, of course. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. <laughs> and yet I always find you here. In a dark, damp cave. In front of a computer. I'll leave as soon as I finish. People with regular jobs can do their work anywhere, but for me, this is my office. I agree. It isn't normal work. Even worse, the best outcome is that no one ever finds out you've done it. <laughs> yeah, well, good deeds usually go unnoticed. Uh, though not unappreciated. Did you find out what that um, cat woman... Damn, Alfred is such a wise man. Process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different... Ooh, holographs. Uh, to rotate. Okay, of course, yes. Okay, rotating. And what am I doing? This what am I? Bleh. East side shoreline. Mm -hmm. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs. Everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the yeah. meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. <laughs> but you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Nice. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. Hmm. I had everything under control. That's true. I've seen you take down worse thugs. But I'd already sewn you up once tonight, and I had no interest in a repeat performance. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this cat woman aren't helping. And she she's kind of the best of them still. For hopefully she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. But again, what do they all want in Gotham? Why Gotham? It's such a small place, actually. Codex cat woman. Founder. <laughs> Founder! That, that, great job. Great job, Bruce. New criminal on the scene, tied to several recent break-ins. She's effective and doesn't leave many clues behind. Currently, the GDCPD has no leads. I wish I knew more about her. Okay, that's... Okay, yeah, okay. Uh, Not much to find, apparently. Nope. Burglaries, break-ins... <clears throat> seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside oh. without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce uh. or Batman. I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. Uh, whenever Harvey calls. The guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted then. <laughs> the media isn't good for anyone's health. I if like I Alfred. To beat a dead Such argument, a great guy. No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. <clears throat> Kind of, your injuries, so did Mr. kind of bugs me that, that they put it together with the incident at the Bruce is base, calling him Al. He doesn't do that. He call, always calls him Alfred, at least in the movies and shit. To get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. But this city I needs a job me. to do. Okay, a responsibility to this city. You know why I do this. For the car, I presume. Well, the car helps. Oh yes, you <laughs> drive that thing like a bat out of hell. <laughs> <sighs> that will be the awesome. worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. <clears throat> One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Yep. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam. 
if I'm using <laughs> the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. You think he might know something about the break-in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but it was the fun kind of trouble. You both were. <laughs> Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Alright. The Cobblepot Park. So then, what's his business? He seems to be a small fish, kind of, but... There is no, there is nothing coincidental, at least when you're playing a Telltale game. Where are you, Oz? Okay. First time actually moving around. Didn't look at shit. Uh, I hope it is gift change. Okay, give him change. Why not? Uh, thank you, sir. Good morning to you. As well, then. Is it that cold in Gotham? <laughs> Running late, meet you by the statue. The statue, but no eyes. Well, then let's look around. Shopping cart. How is that interesting? It's just <laughs> very often uh, just looking at shit and not saying anything. Hey. Beat it. Well, I'm gonna beat you. At least in the other Telltale games. I, I, I don't want to criticize, but... They had to say shit about shit. There, again. <laughs> the fuck, Bruce? Say something. Talk to me. Come on, Park. Which now... It isn't what it used to be. Thanks, man. Thanks. Appreciate the comment. Comment. No, nothing? Alright. <laughs> I find it hard to come up with shit sometimes as well, so I don't judge. That's... that's a... that's a... a nice face cash. there. But this goes through you. Um, is that my guy? Murdered, man. The hell are you waiting for? You're making a mistake. You already made one. Come in here. The next one kills you. And him. Really? Just like that? Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. <laughs> Love the accent. Come here. Think that'll do. Nice moves, bro. Ah, shit! I missed it. Stay down. Ow. Oh. Um. This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. I wonder... Ah, whatever. It is too much fun to beat them up, so I'm not gonna care hiding his uh, abilities. Nah, nah. 
Don't need it. <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh... Hey, Thanks. Good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shaked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, no, that wasn't why I brought you in, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were, yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> well, not you, you obviously. Choose right through people. So, what is your point, buddy? Tell me. Committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, you did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. So, he wants money? It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnob and parties. Round the world vacations, unlimited potential. Now all I got is this park. I'm, I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone. At your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oily. Oh. Wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. It's politics, Oz. That's how the game is played. I thought you And I didn't even invite him. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And he falls down. Yeah, Most people do that if you push them. <laughs> Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are going to be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. Uh, uh -huh. And I'm here to let it in. Okay. Tell me more. Which brings me to you, Bruce. Okay. You see, you throw a rock in any direction. You break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're going to smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not going to be pretty. It's going to be beautiful. And I can't wait to get started. I'm not mm. your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Yeah, nice talk. Okay, well, yeah, that sounds like fun. Fun is about to happen. Press conference for new hospital starts soon. Car waiting. Okay. Hey. Um, really, really much political stuff to do and shit. Okay, I'm just gonna follow you again. Oh my man. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm gonna say. Oh my god, that is beautiful. So many times now. Day playing this game. But look at that. Isn't that just astonishing? <laughs>